On this week's show, championships on championships. We'll show you which Liberty teams took home titles, and we check in on spring football with the Flames. Plus, we examine the impact that Liberty basketball's Kyle Road has made on the program. That's all coming your way next on this Flame Central. It's a championship edition of Flame Central. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining us this week. As always, alongside Matt Warner, I'm Emily Austin. We'll tell you about titles on the track and in the pool, but first we start on the hardwood. Is Liberty Basketball looking to get hot in the final weeks of the season? Yeah, it may seem like a roller coaster ride <laughs> of ups and downs for the men this season, but that's what you get with this level of competition in Conference USA. And to be honest, all that matters is playing your best basketball yeah. going into March. But Matt, how would the Flames fare on the last day of February? Kyle Road giving away the secret from downtown. They'll be just fine. It was a close game in the first, but the Flames pulling away in the second half. Colin Porter from deep. And remember what you learned in pre-K? Sharing is caring. Kyle Road again. He finished the night with 21 points. Liberty leads late, and Caden Matheny wants to join in on the fun from Darius McGee range. The Flames snap a two-game lose streak and extend a five-game home winning streak. Final score, 83-58 over the Aggies. Liberty is now tied for fourth place in the CUSA standings. Well, for the last five years, Kyle Road has been one of the faces of Liberty basketball. Over 150 games played, Road ranks in the top 15 in Liberty history in points, rebounds, and assists. But it's what you can't measure that makes Road so special. As a leader, as a culture setter, he's been invaluable. And as he plays his final games in a Flames uniform, those who are around him every day share the legacy that he's leaving behind. When you're around him, it's a calmness. When I know he's on the court, it's just a, a sense of uh, as peace. I can't describe the feeling. It's just you're confident when you're out there with him. He, he's got a gifting on his life. Like, let's be real. Man, I, I don't know if I'll coach another like him. The team calls him Cap. <laughs> He's captain. He uh, he knows the system inside and out. He's a coach out on the floor, and we're going to listen to him. You know, leadership, as Coach says, is summed up in one word, and that's influence, and I think he's really got that. I think leadership is, of course, with your voice, but I think the way that he shows up and does the work every day, he just doesn't have bad days. The consistency of his voice. I think everyone, you know, when they're having a good day can come in and talk, but day in and day out, he has the same voice and it's never dropping no matter what. Tell this team in the gym yeah, right here. You guys sitting in the gym. He's uniquely consistent. I, I can't remember a practice or a game where he wasn't fully engaged or fully invested. And that's probably one of the most impressive things I can say just when you've been in this uh, this program and just to still be as consistent as he does every day is, uh, is pretty remarkable. All the little details that he does every single day uh, makes Kyle Road who he is. It gives us belief when maybe we don't have it. And so when he goes on the court, he just shines. Caught by Road, pump fake, free ball. Yeah, what a huge basket by Kyle Top for three. Good! Kick out here to Rowe. That's a shot for three. He's got it! Catch and shoot three. Connects. Oh, Rowe from deep. Pretty move. That time over Crawford to the crowd's the line. In the paint. Gets it up. Rowe will shoot the triple. And it's pure. Back to Rowe. Deep right wing three for the tie. Got it! Rowe with two to shoot with the reverse. Gets the roll there for KR. That's Kyle Rowe. Rowe weaving through traffic. Watch it. When everything was on the line, Matt, the senior leader. None of us would be here if it wasn't for Kyle Road. Liberty men's basketball isn't what it is today without him. He's the pinnacle of what we are. I think he'll leave it better than, you know, he came to it. The example uh, he set not only as a, as a basketball player, but as a man. Not being afraid to, to be who he is and to live out his faith and 
I think that it helped me, you know, to be able to do that. He probably doesn't even know it, but he has allowed me to take steps in my life that I am so grateful for. I don't know if I have the words right now to express how grateful and have the full understanding of, of his impact in my life. One that will hold you accountable, one that loves you, one that's as loyal as the day is long. He's one of those guys that's really irreplaceable. The moment he's not in a Flames jersey, I know we're going to we're going to miss that presence greatly. I know our program has been enriched by his presence. Matt, you know the best word to describe Kyle Rhodes? What's that? Unicorn. <laughs> Coach McKay has said it, and, you know, there will be a void left after he leaves this program. But you can see, just from talking with the young guys, that that legacy will always live on here at Liberty Basketball. No doubt. Coach McKay has said before, Kyle Rhodes is the best leader he's ever been around. Not just talking about in basketball terms, like anything he's that good of a leader and has been that impactful and no doubt uh it will be a void when he leaves whatever he goes on to do if you want to come back and yeah. coach with liberty basketball i come don't think back. that's going to be a problem <laughs> all right matt let's stay on the hardwood but check in with the ladies on the road at new mexico state second quarter lu down eight emma hess finding bella smuda under the basket but hess's assists here aren't the storyline, Matt. Hess nails her first triple midway through the third, and this is where she really took over the game, but also getting it done around the rim, the floater, the foul. Listen to Emma Hess's stats. She scored 24 of her 26 points after halftime, as she led the Lady Flames to a comeback win over the Lady Aggies final score, 60 to 56. You know, when it comes to Liberty football, the last couple of weeks, we've talked offense, we've talked defense. So for those of you scoring at home, that means it's time for special teams, otherwise known as the unit you forget about until you need it. Last season was an up and down one for the Flames specialists. They finished the year with a different kicker than they started it with. Liberty kickers were just over 70% on the season with a long of only 41 yards. Meanwhile, punter Max Morgan showed some flashes, including his performance in the Fiesta Bowl against Oregon. But the main focus this spring has been not only being better, but just being more reliable. Their main charge was we need more consistency. Um, you know, Max, when he hits a good ball, it's fantastic. One of the best in the country, but he doesn't do it all the time. Same thing, when we send our field goal unit out there, um, we can't wonder if we're going to score points or not. We need to score points every time they go out there. So that's all got to continue improving from, from what we did last year. Last year, I think they all would tell you, and I'll tell you that it wasn't, wasn't good enough. You know, every so often someone will ask me, what's the most successful program on Liberty's campus? The answer, I think, has to be Liberty Track and Field. And with their latest performance this past weekend, it doesn't seem like that's changing anytime soon. The Flames hosted the 2024 Conference USA Indoor Track and Field Championships, and they put on a dominant performance. Liberty sweeps both the men's and women's titles, and they were not close. The men <laughs> win with 215 and a half points, 78 more than the next closest program. With the win, the Liberty men have now won 27 straight indoor conference titles, the longest active streak in the nation. As for the women, they scored a total of 169 points in the meet, and their 70-point margin of victory was the largest ever in the meet's 29-year history. A thoroughly dominant effort from the Flames. And here's a look at those that had record-setting performances over the weekend. Reese Webster continued to torch the competition, setting program records in both the women's 60 and 200. India Cartwright made Liberty history with her time in the women's 60 hurdles. Amari Lewis ran a record-setting 60 while taking the CUSA crown. And friend of the show, John Hicks, he broke the program record in the weight throw, while the Flames also set a new mark in the women's distance medley relay. With all of that success, Flames head coach Lance Bingham was named the CUSA Men's and Women's Coach of the Year. But he also received an even bigger honor, an invite to the Flames Central podcast powered by Alcova Mortgage. We asked him about his program's incredible run of dominance and what made this experience so special. Do you still try to tell yourself, hey, <clears throat> yes, we've done this so many years in a row. I still need to soak it in and enjoy it as much as I did Five years, 10 years, 15 years, like, like, so it doesn't get old. Years. You don't get numb to it. 25 no. years. 25 <laughs> years. Yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. No, it, it doesn't. And 
and this year was very special. Had a lot of trials, you know, that several things happened, several injuries, things you're not expecting. And, and uh, you see the mindset, you see the focus, the energy, the drive that's not focused on themselves as much as on the, the vision of honoring Christ. Yeah. When you see that take place and the result of that, that's what was special nice. and overcoming, you know, several things that, uh, you know, right and left that I could mention. It was, it was special. To hear the entire conversation with Coach Bingham and to see if Matt and Joe could actually handle an entire podcast on their own while I was on vacation, check out this week's Flame Central podcast powered by Alcova Mortgage. We release a new podcast every Monday. You can listen on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or watch on the Liberty Flames YouTube channel. Staying on the championship theme, new conference, same results for the Liberty Swimming and Diving team. The Lady Flames claimed their sixth straight conference title on Saturday. You may remember they switched from the CCSA to the ASUN conference this past season. For the meet, Liberty earned 48 A finals, 26 podiums, and seven event victories. Abby Shaw, another friend of the show, won the 100 and 200 backstroke. Maddie Fries was named the most outstanding diver of the meet for the third time in her career. And the awards don't stop there. Matt Warner, Andrew Helmick was named the Women's Diving Coach of the Year, while head coach Jake Schellenberger was named the A-Sun Women's Swimming Coach of the Year. Here's what coach said on what fuels his team. We're not doing this for ourselves. We're not doing this so much for recognition or for Instagram likes. That's all well and good, don't get me wrong. You know, it feels good when people admire what you're doing on social media. But we're doing it for a much bigger purpose, and that fuels us. And I really think that's one of the secrets, if not the secret, to how we've been so successful. The idea that when you truly, honestly believe that you're doing it for the Lord and you have a group that's sold out for that, man, it's hard to stop. We take a time out, but coming up, Dot Richardson takes us behind the scenes of life on the recruiting trail. Plus, Rhett McGibbon names his Athletes of the Week. It's warm, hot, and fuego when Flame Central returns. At Liberty University, we understand life can be unpredictable, and when you need a resilient career, your education should withstand any test. So we've made sure the degree you need is within reach by freezing one of the lowest tuition rates in the nation for eight years and counting, and giving scholarships, discounts, and credit for work you've already done. Because we're proud of what you do. We've done this for over 30 years, and we know how to help. We're here to help you. Being a parent and helping your kids through school, it's not exactly easy. I mean, there's waking up at 5 a.m., the morning routine, helping with homework, sitting in traffic. You get it. What if there was a way you could get your kids a quality Christian education where they can work at any pace, any time, from anywhere? School that works for your schedule and frees your kids to keep doing what they love. Well, that's exactly what we do. LUOA, school that goes where you do. Does education mean a room with four walls, a desk, and a PowerPoint lecture? Or is it something bigger? What if it's the people beside you, one chair away or one ocean away? What if it's the chance to learn from your mistakes, as well as your victories, and the push to keep going either way? What if it's the freedom 
to reach for bigger things without missing the little ones in between. For each of us, education looks a bit different. Because we're each a bit different. But at Liberty, we think education might just mean something big enough for all of us. That's Liberty to us. What will Liberty be to you? Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, this past weekend, Liberty Softball reeled off five straight wins as they dominated the annual Liberty Softball Classic. But building a program that yearly contends for conference titles and NCAA tournament wins isn't easy. Recruiting can be tough. Thankfully, the Lady Flames have Dot Richardson. She shows us how she navigates life on the recruiting trail. All right, I like what I'm hearing about these, but what about the transfer portal? Do we, do we need, what do we need in the transfer portal? Uh, we have a couple kids uh, that are on here that I'm really interested in. Yeah, but wait, don't, look who's, look who just got on. Oh, Man. Sochi. Woo! You got to be kidding me. All right, let me get on the phone. Let me get on the phone. That is amazing. Come on. Yeah, make sure you email. The recruiting process can be exhausting. There's a lot of sacrifices that you make when you're recruiting. What you're eating, how much you're sleeping. It's really a rat race a lot of times. 500 teams at one tournament. Ready, set, go. We're trying to make sure it makes sense geographically for us. Driving from field to field, watching games from 8 a.m. to sometimes 10 o'clock at night. <sighs> you just get used to that lifestyle, right? And my husband is like, okay, here we go. You know, and so for me as a head coach, I can send out assistance. It's just definitely a mindset you have to get into. You have to be like, okay, like I'm done with my team for now. I'm setting them aside. What's What do I need to look for um, for us to be able to compete three or four years from now? You have to plan and watching these athletes See the ones that have already verbally committed to you. See the ones that are coming up in the fall that have signed national letter of intents. And you got to show your support and see where they're at so you know what your squad is going to look like, your roster in the fall. Then you got to look at those in this year's 25s and, and be ready on September 1st to call the ones that you want because the, the good ones, their phone is going to be ringing off the hook and you want to be the first to get to them. I'm going to call the coach right now, okay? Then you also come back after an event and you get together. After these tournaments, you come together as a staff and say, who did you like? Who do you not like? Put the five stars, four, three, two, ones. Then you get ready for the next weekend and then the next weekend and then the next weekend. Then you have clinics that you could do that third parties put together. Maybe it's right before a camp. The newest thing that has been introduced to recruiting is the transfer portal. Any student athlete at an institution, no matter what division, can go to a transfer portal and you get updates. You can look and see who's on there, who's transferring. Once when they're on this transfer portal, then you can talk to them. That now has added a new dimension to recruiting because then you can get a college player who's established, like you know her numbers. You gotta jump on those transfer portal uh, athletes quickly. When you recruit a prospective student athlete, you try and know so much about them, not just on the field, but what are they like as an individual? What is their character? What about their family makeup? How they treat other people? right, including when you're watching them on the field, teammates. So it's more than just athletic ability. Can they hit the ball or pitch the ball? Can they field the ball? You know, they're gonna have the athleticism, but also buy in in a way where they'll impact us on the field. Because you have to look at the makeup of a player and how that will fit into the team that you have and the culture that you currently have but also if you're wanting to change that culture and move into the future to meet your vision, 
Is this a player that will get you there? Do they have a passion for the game? That's what I look at. Who is going to be a player that's going to bleed red, white, and blue? The most important thing to us is that you are able to experience the Lord and get to know Him better. I'm looking for athletes, student athletes, that want to be the best they can be and recognize that God has given them the gift to do that. And that you are an individual that wants to seize the opportunities that are before you. God's given you this gift to play a sport and through it, are you getting closer to Him and are you honoring Him by expressing your gifts both on and off the field at the highest level that pleases Him? We're able to play whoever we want to play. It doesn't matter what conference we're in, we're going to play all of the conferences. We are going to compete at the highest level. Are you prepared for that challenge? I love seeing that behind the scenes action. All right, to the lacrosse pitch. Lady Flames hosting Duke on a rainy Tuesday night. Liberty trailing 16 to 9 with about eight minutes to play, but LU didn't back down. Katie Colavito weaving through traffic to find the back of the net. The Lady Flames outshot Duke 18 to 10 in the second half. Mackenzie Lehman had four goals on the night. However, it was too little, too late as LU falls to the Blue Devils, 16 to 13, but still a great effort against some ACC competition. Yeah, it certainly was. All right, Rhett McGibbons here. You know what that means? Time for Warm Hot and Fuego, top play player moment from the That's past right. week in Liberty Athletics. Rhett, you always come up with the most interesting themes or I ideas. Yeah, yeah. What do we have this week? I was going like movie characters. Also, oh, you're like c comparing them to a movie yeah, character. Yeah, or just like, you know, the athlete kind of has an aspect of them that reminds me of the movie oh, I like character. That. Yeah. Okay, let's start with Warm. All right, so for Warm, I could have gone a lot of different directions yeah, here right. okay but you know looking at track and field there's a lot of great uh, performances there was. during the weekend but I saw a familiar name a guy a friend of mine Warren Barrett oh yeah, yeah I remember I did I the, did, the I discus that, with yeah. him I was horrible he was great it's just a raw <laughs> athlete great. but he reminds me you know in the shot put second year in a row that he is qualified for indoor nationals That's right all right but he reminded me of Fezzik and Princess Bride you know just picking up rocks and just yeah. throwing them okay. at people yeah. it's yeah. so easy for him this yeah. guy's just amazing 63 feet six inches in the shot put good to see him moving on again I saw him in the hallway the other day and said hi to him just a, a jovial guy yeah. and he, he makes me smile because he still knows he's working on his craft like yeah. talking to him about uh, it was the discus at the time he's like yeah I don't know exactly what I'm doing here but you know I feel like it's going okay <laughs> I feel and, like it is and I think yeah it's going well if you qualify for nationals two years in a row good job yeah. Warren congrats yeah. to him all right from warm we move on to hot all right Kalen Yoder freshman pitcher yeah. reminds me of Henry in rookie of the year Ooh, now don't yeah. yeah don't get confused here about Dennis Quaid hot in ice. the rookie yeah, yeah that's rookie right yeah that? such yeah. a yeah a, a great little movie <laughs> but is. hey this freshman and coming in 2-0 uh, at home this past week, taking down Penn State, taking down Morgan State, had double digits and strikeouts. Great to see a .78 ERA, and the hitters only batting 129 against her. Ooh. You know me, Matt. I like to kind of make predictions on freshmen, you right? You know, I thought it was pretty good at Emma Hess. Yeah, you Rachel Roop. Yeah. I think that was a pretty easy one, but yeah. still. But I have a feeling Yoder, by the time she leaves here, is going to do some pretty good damage. Okay. One yeah. of the, are you going to say one of the better pitchers in program history? Yeah, by I, the time am. I am. Done? I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to go top five. Okay. Top right. five right. in program history. They would take history. that right now. Yeah. I think that I, would sign I, up for that. The fact she that she's a lefty, too, right. I think that adds in a, a nice little bonus. All right. Finally, Rhett in Fuego, who's the athlete in the movie comp. All right. Kane Kepley. Yeah. Seeming like like Roy Hobbs in, oh, the, in natural. the natural oh, right wow. now a little okay, bit. Now, yeah. I know that's high praise. That is, and there's a yeah. long season yeah. to go here, Kane. Don't get your head too swelled up about what I'm saying. <laughs> but your number's looking great right now. Hitting 407. He's got three doubles, a couple of home runs, five RBI. His slugging percentage is 741. Just like Roy Hobbs basically walked on to the Knights. You remember he yeah, walked right. in there, started talking to Coach, you know, Kepley, basically walk onto the Flames. Yeah, last you know? year, yeah. A great second half of the season. Great to see in terms development right. with LU. You need that to be a successful program. Kepley doing exactly that in this. Uh, I know there's been some bumps here and there sure. as of late against Hofstra and whatnot, but uh, when the pitching gets smooth again, the bats get fired and this yeah. team's tough to beat. Going to be one of the best leadoff hitters certainly in Conference yes, USA this sure. season. Right? Yeah. Great job as Thank always. I'm, we're going to have to watch some movies. Yeah, I like, keep it. Yeah, this. I like it. it. Hey, don't go anywhere. Much more Flame Central coming up right after this. Welcome to Liberty University's online programs. 
where living out your calling with integrity is what you train to do. And getting ready for the future doesn't mean missing out on the now. Because a university is more than buildings and books. And an education should set you free, not fence you in. Welcome to Liberty's global campus, where distance learning was pioneered and evolved into one of the top ranked schools in the nation. Where protecting your budget, your time, and your education isn't just a theory, it's our priority. Here, degrees in your field reflect industry demands and help you get ahead of the competition. Where college comes to you, but you can come to college too. Game day, homecoming, graduation day. Your school, your values, your experience, your choice. Welcome to Liberty University, where we train champions for Christ. A college degree is more than a diploma. It's taking control of your future and finding that next step. At Liberty University, we not only care about your career, we also care about your calling. And we want to help you learn, develop, and grow so you can make an impact as a champion for Christ. Over 600 online programs, one you, infinite possibilities. you're looking for a university that has anything you could possibly need. Anything? You want a place that has the programs you want to study. I think I'm going to sign up for the fashion design program. All right. A place with state-of-the-art facilities. <laughs> and who doesn't love big time sports? Somewhere you can hike, slide, climb, and most importantly, eat. And all that with a great view? Yeah, I think I know a place. We are about out of time for this week, but as always, for any stories you might have missed, go to libertyflamecentral.com. And don't forget, download and subscribe to the Flame Central podcast powered by Alcova Mortgage every Monday. I have a feeling this upcoming podcast is going to be a lot of fun. A birthday party on set. Whose birthday? Yours truly. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's got <laughs> so, a, lot, a lot of fun for some of us. Yeah, so, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about the spring game. Yeah, There'll sure. be a lot okay. more than There's just a birthday things. celebration. All right, like you said, we're out of time. For Matt, I'm Emily. We'll see you next week.